just behind this fallen ruler and I'm hoping it uses it as a nice high vantage point. So I think that's exactly what this cheat is about to do. Jump up, jump up on the marula. Come, come on. Up you jump, up you jump. Is everyone ready? I'm ready. Is he gonna do it? We're waiting for him to leap. Uh, often cheetah also like to defecate on fallen trees like this. Here we go. Here we go. No. Here we go. He's smelling it. Come on. Up you go. Don't, don't, don't prove me wrong. I shouldn't have said he was going to jump up. Then he would have jumped up, but he should jump up. Now, actually, just zoom. I know this is a risk. Risk, Dave. You see that little up to the right? There's that little black thing there. I think that's probably cheetah poo. And they like to defecate up on spots like that. <laughs> He's playing with us, Dave. Come on. Up you go. There we go. Wonderful. So, as I said, they often use it as vantage points to spot to spot potential prey, but also scent mark. So they will scent mark on uh, those things and defecate as to denote their territory and their boundaries. Uh, so if any other male cheetah happened to come along, they would know that this area was occupied and they'd have to probably fight for it. All stretching. Shannon would like to know, does their urine also smell like popcorn? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, sh no, it doesn't. Not nearly. Uh, it doesn't smell anything like leopard urine. Well, there we go. He's going to defecate on top of the tree, just like we said. That's uh, one of the ways they do mark their territory. <laughs> they are stunning. It's just so nice to sit quietly and enjoy this spectacular cat. Uh, Eli Yellow Bear is wondering, are cheetah the only big cats that purr? Uh, in no, they are not. They are not the only big cat that purr. Um, a lot of the other, or well, smaller big cats, uh, such as, if I remember correctly, Clouded Leopard and all of that. So they, they have an ossified hyoid apparatus, which is the bone in their throat. So leopards, lions, snow leopards, Tigers, jaguars, or have an elastic hyoid bone, and uh, that enables them to roar, but cheetahs don't, so they chirp, and they purr, and they hiss. Isn't this stunning? So we are getting quite close to the Mala Mala boundary, but so far he's still reasonably far inside Chief's plans. And you can see this 
hearth light that we're in at the moment is their favorite sort of hunting light. Oh, he's gonna pop down. Oh, it's feeling quite sprightly all of a sudden. Adisa is wondering, do male cheetah hunt differently from female cheetah? Uh, not necessarily, the only thing, because there are two of them, um, they do sometimes co co <laughs> I can't speak today. Collaborate. Thank you, Dave. Collaborate, uh, and because they are bigger, they are able to take down uh, slightly bigger animals as well. Let's get onto the other side of him. Sorry guys, I just need to, I've got to be on the radio. Jamie, come quickly, it's moving. It's probably now 50 meters from the boundary. Sorry, I was just trying to get one of the other vehicles in here, letting him know how close this cheetah was to the boundary. And the answer is almost on top of it. Turn around, cheetah, turn around. Dave, make the cheetah turn around. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think so. Lay would like to know, where will a cheetah keep their kills? Uh, Lay, they will drag it under a, a bit of shade, so just on the ground, and it's one of the other reasons they lose so many kills. Stations of Shkankank has crossed the double M boundary. There he goes. Off to the, the south. It was quite nice. I haven't seen them in a long time. So really great to catch up with, even if it is just one of them. Yes, come back, come back, turn around. <laughs> we can always uh, be wishful. As he disappears down to the south.